This is going to be a demonstration of using automations in FilterStorm 4.5. So first let me open up an image. Now FilterStorm comes with a couple automations built in. If you tap here on the automation icon, you can see there's this enhance automation. Just tap on it and it'll apply. Now I'm just going to go to my history. I'm just going to undo that. And we can build our own. So automations are really just sequences of edits um, saved into a file that you can then use to uh, apply to another image. They can be as simple or as complex as you like. Um, there's really only one limitation, which is if you use the uh, the double exposure feature to add a secondary image, that won't work in the automation. Um, the automation will still run, it simply won't load that into the image um, because the image you load into the, uh, the second image you load isn't saved in the automation file. But other than that, uh, you can make them as complex as you like or as simple as you like. Um, I'm just going to make a very simple one right now to show you how it's done. So I'm going to come here, go to my blur tool and blur, and I'm going to set the uh, blending mode to overlay. Overlay blur is a classic, uh, it's a classic effect to make things look very vibrant and great for, th for thing subject matter like this. I'm just going to apply that. You can see it looks very nice. I might uh, say go into my layers and just pull it back slightly, the opacity back slightly so the effect isn't quite as <clears throat> as strong as it was originally. And that looks nice, it's a very nice effect. And so I just go into the automations menu, hit save automation, give it a name. Let's just call it overlay blur. the save button. Now you can see it's in there. Now the automation will, when you go to save, it'll simply be everything that's been applied to the image to this point. Um, so now if I close that and I open a new one, I can simply go to my automations menu and tap on that and it reapplies those steps. Blur, changes the blood mode, the alpha, and there we go. Now, if I didn't like it, I can, you can tap on and hold to get back to this menu. You can, I could delete it if I didn't like it. And if I want to share it, I can go and I can hit the email button and it loads into an email. If you receive an email with an automation file, you just tap and hold on it and it'll give you the option to open it in FilterStorm and it will, it will uh, load right up into this automations menu. And that's how you use automations in FilterStorm.